Hello fourth grade friends. Today we're going to be talking about um, one of my favorite painters. His name is Jacob Lawrence um, and he was born in 1917 um, and he was part of the Harlem Renaissance and so when he was a little boy he moved to um, Philadelphia and then his mom moved to New York and got um, took him and his his siblings to New York and they moved into a neighborhood in New York called Harlem and Harlem at that time um, was a very interesting place to live um, and during the Harlem Renaissance there were a lot of artists and jazz musicians and writers and poets and it was a very exciting place to be and so um, if you've watched the read the book about this Jake Makes a World. You knew a little bit about him as a kid, but today we're going to look at the paintings that he made as an adult. So this is a picture of Jacob Lawrence when he was young. When he was about 23, he um, had a very ser famous series of paintings called The Great Migration Come Out that we're going to take a look at. And this is a painting of him, a picture, a photograph of him about right around that time. He also was a teacher, and this is a picture of him teaching. He had a lot of different jobs. Mostly he was an artist, but he also worked in the army and was a teacher. He taught college for the last part of his life in addition to painting, um, but this is a picture of him when he was teaching kids right about your age. And then this is a um, self-portrait that he made um, of himself. And so here we can see him the way he saw himself. You see that he's very happy. He's holding his paintbrushes. He has his work in the background. And I like this painting because it kind of tells us a little bit about who Jacob Lawrence was. Let's take a look at one of his paintings now. Um, I mentioned before that he made a group of work called the Great Migration. The Great Migration is something that happened um, in American history. African Americans fled the South starting in the 1880s and on into the 1930s and 40s. Um, and they left the South because there was a lot of discrimination happening there and not a lot of work. And so people um, were suffering and they wanted to find a place where they could raise their families and have good paying jobs. And so they came north. And so they settled in New York and Chicago and um, Detroit and other places where there was work to have, but also away from some of the discrimination in the South. There was still discrimination happening against um, black people in the North as well, but it wasn't quite as bad um, as what was happening in the South at the time. So this is one of the paintings, and you can see some of Jacob's, Jacob Lawrence's um, work here, some of his, his p styles. So I see that he's using a lot of different shapes. He's taken this group of people who are fleeing the South with only the possessions on their bag, back. You can see they have um, bags, and they, ha they have sacks, and they have suitcases, and they're taking everything that they have, and they're leaving um, the place that they go. And even the birds he paints in here are going with them. So we see a lot of movement. You could see the people moving together. Um, I also see that he takes everyone and he turns them into a shape. So I see triangular shapes. You see how they look triangular. There lots of diagonal lines pushing forward. I see the the shapes of, of the things on their back. Their hats have been turned into shapes. So he uses a lot of very simplified shapes. And the color is very um, blocky too. There's not a lot of shading. In some places you can see there's dark, darks and lights. But in a lot of places he just uses big blocks of color to give us the idea Idea of what's happening. So he was an abstract artist, but he was very interested in telling the story of Black people in America. And so this is one of those paintings. This is another one, a similar idea. You can see that the people are all moving forward. There's a lot of repetition here. You remember repetition means to repeat, to see the same thing. And so I see their legs moving in a diagonal, um, moving um, all together. We see those shapes again. I notice that the, the suitcases are repeated over and over. I notice that um, like this kid is carrying a, a bag or some possessions and even though this child is moving forward, he seems like he's looking back. These kids are moving straight ahead, but those shapes of the women's hats are very simplified. Uh, the men's hats are simplified too. Everything is done very blocky. So there's a lot of movement with them moving forward, but the colors and the shapes are big solid pieces, almost like they've been cut out of paper. They haven't. These are paintings. These are all paintings, but um, very like big blocks. 
Um, this is another one. You can see this is um, what happens. This is a family that has moved north. So this is a little later in the story. Um, but you can see here that they are living in a very simple way. They have a big iron stove and they have a, a table with some food on it. The mama is holding the baby. We have the kids and the daddy there. Um, very simplified shapes again. Um, we can see that everything is kind of laid out in big colored blocks. Lots of color um, in this this story of a family sitting down to dinner. This is one of my favorites. When the kids get to um, the North, one of the things they get to do is they get to go to school. And so here we have a picture of three girls um, who are at school. And I love the repetition here. We see diagonal arms reaching up to write the numbers on the board. We have the dresses, which are not exactly the same. You can see the details on this one, the pleats, uh, the petticoat underneath. She's wearing long socks. Uh, but the repetition of that triangular form over and over. Their hair is very similar, kind of um, long and, and triangular. The board, the blackboard is just a big gray square. So he's definitely telling us an idea, but we see movement. We see our people moving and then we see the shapes and the colors again. This one's a little later, but it's a nice one as well. You can see here um, we have a family um, that are walking and you can see they're all, again, look at the legs. So all moving forward, simplified shapes. And then in the background, we have a construction site showing um, all the movement and activity that was happening. And then I love this one too. This one is of the library. So here you can have, see all different sorts of people doing things. Here's a librarian who is shelving. He's putting the books on the shelf. You could, Or maybe he's taking them off the shelf and putting moving them to somewhere else. It's a little unclear, but you can definitely see he's moving. You've got diastole strong diagonal lines. His face is very simplified. Um, you can see here so two people looking for a book. You can see the eyes peeking out from beneath the shelves looking for books. Here's someone reading those shapes and those colors again. I like this one a lot. I think this is a, a really nice piece. Okay, so now that we've taken a look at some of Jacob Lawrence's pieces, we're going to do a guided drawing together. Um, and we're going to be thinking about kind of those shapes and how to show some movement. And then if you have um, something to color with, we're going to color too. So go ahead and for our, my next video, make sure you have a piece of paper and a pencil before you get started. Okay, all right, I'll see you in a second.